Now, before we begin, Mr. Matt, Mattis N Nigel, am I, am I, am I, Matt, Matthias Nigel? Oh my gosh, I am murdering that name, I am so sorry. But, because you figured out what the game was a few episodes ago, you get a digital cookie. But you just didn't want any type of cookie, you wanted a flag cookie. Very well, give him flag cookie. That really looks delicious. That looks ooey gooey. Oh, that's so ooey gooey. Wait, don't you dare run from the ooey gooey cookie! Get back here! Well, everyone, I goofed again. I recorded most of the damn video from desktop on my shit. So I do apologize, but I will be zooming in in order to finish this video. And unfortunately, the top part of the screen will be cut off for a little while. Please forgive me, but I am, but I don't have a whole lot of time to redo everything. But I promise it'll be fun, regardless. Please enjoy. Um, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, it kind of sounded like Shadow Zone there, and it's foggy. <laughs> Whoa, it's foggy. Sleepy Hollow. It's pretty good if it was Halloween, but I need to get rid of this fog though. It, unfortunately, it, it the fog, even though it looks cool, it makes hexagonal shapes on the surface of Kerbin when I'm in orbit. It doesn't exactly look cool at all. But anyways, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos, and welcome back to another video of extreme, super hard, insane career mode. I was about to say stock career mode, but that's a given, right? So last time we actually went into orbit, finally. Finally, after, what, four episodes? Finally got into orbit. We made some bank. Although, wait, how much money did we have when we started? I think it was like 10 grand. Now we have 23, 23,000, almost 24. So not a bad chunk of change. It's funny, our reputation is still shit. <clears throat> we got some more science though. 16.5 now that we're up to. I doubt that explore the moon option is going to be viable for a while. Up for expires in three days. Yeah, something tells me that um, that's just going to have to be a thing. Because I don't see us building anything that can go to to the moon quite yet. All right, so what we need to do is we need to start grinding to get some monies because I think we need to go ahead and update some stuff like the VAB, for instance, so we can build bigger rockets without being limited to parts and weight. Oh boy, the grind. I bring this misery upon myself, but for good reason. It's a good cause. However, I will unlock something. Let's see here. I think we'll unlock survivability because the biggest thing that I've been worried about worried sick about right now is survivability for my astronauts or kerbinauts however you want to say it so we got radio parachutes uh, drogue chutes which is come in handy actually they'll they'll be able to come out at higher speeds and velocities unlike these guys which has been one of our biggest problems having to wait until the craft slows down enough to release the parachute to begin with sometimes they don't ever slow down fast enough which is one of the why one of the why is what is one of the reasons why i left a little bit of fuel in the tank so that i could initiate a burn in order to slow down enough for the parachutes to come out because survivability is huge we can't afford another kerbal we can't we only have four. Once they're all gone, that's it. Game over. The service bay will help out a lot to reduce our drag. We can shove all the science stuff in there. Heat shields, definitely a plus. But you know, I think we'll be okay without them. Because I'm trying to do uh, extreme... Uh, in this extreme insane career mode, I'm trying to build vehicles that come back in one piece. Not just capsule one piece, but like, you know, whole ship kind of one piece, SSTO-like kind of thing. So unless it's like something absolutely insane, I really want to try to come back in one piece. What I mean as insane as like we're screaming into the atmosphere at 5,000 meters per second, where no part on this entire little planet could possibly survive except for the heat shield. But I don't think we have to worry about that just yet. So what I'll do is I'll research this. There we go. And I'll buy the service bay. But wait, wait. What? Okay. Purchase. Definitely the uh, parachutes. I think a radial parachute would be nice. Both of them, right? 600 bucks. And then 2,000 bucks. Gimme, gimme. 2,800. And then finally, we're going to buy the new scientific equipment. The press mat borrow meter. That'll help us gain more science. Okay, so we've uh, spent quite a lot of our money, actually. We're down to 17 grand. And I think that will be it for now. Not worried about landing legs. We can... We can... Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. We don't need landing legs just yet. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to grind a little bit and then uh, maybe try to get some science around Kerbin. Yeah. We got enough money. We can actually play around and actually do some science missions. And oh my gosh. Yeah. That's not Silent Hill at all. <laughs> we'll be fine. Yeah. See these hexagonal shapes? That's coming from the clouds being too close to the ground. 
I wanted fog, but instead, I got a world of polka dots. Or hexa dots. What? Hey, I noticed something. Jebediah can now do retrograde. I wonder if that's because he's got a star behind him now. He's finally got one star, so he can do retrograde and prograde, which is going to be a big help. Oh, no, 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 it says a round Kerbin, but it looks like it only needs to be in space. Transmit or recover scientific data from space around Kerbin. It doesn't say anything about having to be in orbit. It's a nice chunk of change though. I don't know. Do I have, do I have to be in orbit for this one? Tell you what, we'll select it and figure it out. It's so foggy. Doink. Now I've been asked a couple of times that why do I have fuel in here when I go ahead and test stuff? That I can test this without having fuel in it and be able to do the everything I need to do. Yeah? Well, that's because I can do this. <laughs> come on, that's fun. Oh, come on, that is fun. That is fun to do. That is amazingly fun. That's, that's, that's like really, really fun, right? And plus, I only had like a little bit of fuel. So what's pennies for happiness? Right? Pennies for happiness. Also, some of you have asked, have asked if this is Waterfall, or the mod. Uh, no, it is not. Uh, it is, um, the engines is, um, a real plume. And, of course, I'm using Eve for the clouds. And I make, uh, I guess they give you, like, a preset. And I go into the preset using Notepad, and I can, um, add to it and all this other good stuff. So, basically, the, there's three layers of clouds right here. There's a top, middle, and then the fog. And basically, it's um, it's uh, uh, jewel clouds, duna clouds, and then um, Kerbin clouds. Anyway, but long story short, I tried to download Waterfall for the real plume, and you need to download like a hundred different mods. I'm gonna have to use Ccan in order to make this work, in order to make Waterfall work, because apparently you need like a, a ton of mods in order to support it, which kind of sucks. It is what it is, I guess. It is what it is. Don't you dare, don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> oh, I lost all that money, dick. Okay, so with the Kerbal Engineer mod that I swear by and use for everything, normally it gives me these stats up here automatically. But in career mode, I have to attach what looks like an old fashioned tape computer in order to get the readouts. So it gives me the biomes situation and it gives me uh, my apple apsis and everything else which is extremely useful data super useful but here's the thing and i'm gonna ask for help from 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 you all from y'all uh since this is an insane extreme mode should i have this little gizmo because right now I don't have this information available to me, so I literally have to guess through my years of experience, guess about my altitude and all the surrogate stuff. Eventually, when you upgrade the Space Center, you'll get information that will tell you all of these numbers eventually, but you have to work your way up to it. I'll let everyone in comments decide for me, because for me personally, it doesn't matter either way. However, this would be useful. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It would be very useful. All right, so this is gonna be a little bit of a crazy thing, and I think um, uh, we're nearing the end of the video. But transmit or recover scientific data from space around Kerbin. I'm really thinking they're talking about orbit, and if that's the case, I may have uh, screwed myself over, because in order to get into orbit right now costs a lot of money, and this thing doesn't give me that much money in order to do that come on give me 70 all right and oh nope I'm, I'm getting science but not the right kind apparently well shit now i would you know what i need to start using valentina kerman so i can get her a star but right now we're going to use jebediah for this one because it's a high risk mission all right this is it for the video let's see if we can get it <laughs> go We're wasting fuel right now like a motherfucker. Damn it. Those SRBs do not make it easy to... Mm, but they are cheap. That's the only reason why I use them. It's like only like 17, 1700 Kerbal bucks for that first... Basically that first the first stage chopped into three stages. What? Yeah, I don't see us getting into orbit. We wasted way too much fuel trying to correct it. <gasps> no! 
<laughs> we forgot to put an antenna on this thing. Oh, well, shit. So, I, uh, we actually did it. What? So we gathered scientific data. What? I mean, it's, it's, it's no longer a thing. It's no longer a thing. We, we did it. I, maybe we didn't have to go into orbit. I'm so confused. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm so confused. All right. Well, that was a big waste of money. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'm, I'm pretty much all out of time. So by the time I'm done collecting a little bit of science from around the KSC, it'll be time for me to wrap things up. I just want you to all know that I uh, love you all. Take care. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.